Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about S3 access points. So access points are basically network endpoints that you can attach to your bucket to perform object level operations, right? They work in conjunction with your S3 bucket policies and they help you provide more granular permissions, right? Uh, so I'll give you an example what I mean when I say granular per permissions. You can have up to thousand endpoints uh, per bucket and you can only perform uh, object level operations. So you cannot modify or delete a bucket and you cannot even perform cross region replication of object using access points, right? So if I have to give you an example, so suppose that this is our S3 bucket, right? And we have uh, multiple applications running uh, in, in our environment, right? So suppose there's application one, application two, and application three. One, two, three. So this application suppose requires uh, all access to S3, right? This requires only get object. And this requires get and put so to basically give different applications different kind of access you can use uh, s3 access points right so this is what uh, access point provides you the flexibility to uh, have granular permissions for different applications running in your environment right okay so now let's go into our aws console and see how we can create an access point for a bucket so now we are in our AWS console. Uh, the next thing we are going to do is go to our S3 bucket. And you can see that I have one, I have actually created one bucket earlier. So we are going to use this bucket only, right? So let's go inside this bucket. And if you come and see in the management section, you can see access points, right? So we'll go into access points and we are going to click create access point. So access points are named endpoints. So we have to give it a name. So I would say my, or rather say read, write access. So this is basically signifying that this access point would give me read write access to the objects in this bucket, right? You can create access point in your VPC or you can also have it working across the internet. So the uh, resources in your VPC would be able to use this access point or you can even have resources over your internet uh, use this access point. So it depends on you what kind of access point you want, right? If you are using a VPC one, you need to provide the VPC ID, right? If you select internet, then you probably don't need to provide any uh, ID. If you come down here, you can see now you have uh, a section where you can basically decide what kind of ACLs you want on this particular uh, access point, right? Uh, by default all public access is blocked so if you are going to use it over internet you need to probably uncheck it and decide what all uh, acl you are going to provide right by default it's all blocked and then you have an optional section of providing an iam policy so uh, access points are compatible with iam policy you need to create an iam policy either you can do it via policy generator or if you can I mean, if you have a policy of your own, you can just do it. And, but there's one section that you need to add to your IAM policy. Uh, let me just see if I can find that. So yeah, this is uh, the section from the AWS documentation. You can see configuring IAM policies for using access points. And you would need these sections if you want to use IAM policies with your access point. So these things need to go in your IAM policies, right? Either your ARN of your access point or the, what is this? Uh, account ID, okay. All right, so this is how you can configure uh, 
access uh, IAM policies for your access point. But uh, since we are just doing a demo, we'll skip this part and we'll just say, so we are creating an inter internet one that uh, that is on you, whether you want it to work inside a VPC uh, or over the internet. So, and let's just click create and then you have an access point and this is this is the access point which you can use uh, via aws sdk uh, api calls cli whatever you want and this is as simple as that now we have created our access point just go ahead and use it right uh, you we have defined different acls you you can even define i am policies for this particular access point and start using it all right, so this is all I had for this video, guys. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving if you want me to create more such videos and let me know if there's any specific topic you want me to cover. I'll do that as well. All right, so yeah, thank you for watching.